Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Shadowverse episode with me, your host, Imperial Dane, Master Propaganda, King of Kings. Off here today to display Agro Vengeance Blood. Yes, indeed. It's not just Agro, it's Agro Vengeance. It's a particular type of Agro deck, which I personally find kind of fun because it involves some mechanics rather than just hitting face and is also involving some rather high risks. But it tends to work if there's certainly a lot of, shall we say, rather greedy decks, which there currently is. You got a lot of Haven decks, Summit Haven, which are beginning to run ages. And you got Portal Craft, which again tends to run pretty greedily as well. And they also, that means they tend not to run a lot in the early game that can really sort of disrupt an aggro deck. So those two are quite vulnerable. There's mid range short, 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 but that's been suppressed by Portal and Summit Haven and any other Haven deck as well. So in many ways, this deck kind of works reasonably well at the moment. It runs, you know, some aggro cards here. You got Goblin. Bula, Blood Maiden, Red Talon Strike, which works quite well with that followers there. You got the Imps, you got the Bats, you got Race Reclaws, Snarling Chains, Nightmare Devil, Savage Wolf, Old Blood King, all that. And then you got the Vengeance Package with Belphegor, which, you know, is just a big threat. Sets you to Vengeance, draws your cards, which can help you, out, you know, activate Venia. You got Silver Chain to Cyborg, which also works out quite well. Basically, another sort of bit of just extra adding in extra damage, but also help control the board making it harder for the opponent to actually hit back at you until it's too late. So, currently been having some reasonable success with this deck in the current meta, plus it's fun. It's really fun. And I know some people like, don't like aggro decks, they feel they're dirty, but really, it's a card game. As long as it's not completely busted, there's no reason to feel dirty or bad, and aggro decks pretty much are there to punish decks that get greedy and get lazy. And right now, there's definitely a couple of decks that play very much the that, so let's have at it, shall we? Here we are, versus Swordcraft. This is actually not good. This is... Well, we're going first, so... There's a chance here. We also got a reasonable opening hand. I don't want Red Talon Strike here. Nightmare Devil, well... Can be useful. Let's have a get a two drop. We didn't. Let's Slesk it. There we got two chances to draw one. Perhaps we should just... Mulligan that one away. But we got Belphegor for turn four. This is good. Belphegor on turn four is a strong play. Big threat. And of course, draw your card to so sort of get ready, put you in vengeance. But again, Mid-Range Sword can actually punish you. And, ah, not good. Well, I guess we'll do it like this. We'll do it like this. Still did some damage, got two one ones on board. Not my favorite move, but you know, sometimes you just gotta take what you got and take it from there. Ah, this is rubbish. It out. Striking, keep up the tempo, keep on momentum, and again, Merit Ring Sword is a problem because it does generate a decent amount of ward which can mess up Agro Blood's plan. Vengeance or otherwise. So this kind of sucks. I pulled both of my Venus. Not what I was looking for, to be honest. Not quite working out too well again, it's easily distracting me again, the lack of an actual true drop did not exactly help my plans either. Should have mulligan again, Nightmare Devil away. Got to greedy there. Got to go Wayne. Which means he's like gonna try and keep something out. Not going so well so far. Run into the worst matchup possible for all intents and purposes. The worst matchup possible, but there you go. Stuff happens from time to time. And just take it as you can. This isn't particularly good. Not particularly good at all. Alright. That's what we call a bit of a mistake. Throw down that one. 
trade in here. Get ourselves another. That with the, as you might have noticed, Bane, which is going to be really difficult for them to defend against. And I got two of them on board. Trade in here, and then we strike. Lastly, got some decent threats, and I made it a lot harder for him to just slow me down. I mean, he might be having King Arthur in hand, which is going to be a real bastard to deal with. We'll take that when we get there. We cross that bridge. And even then, there's going to be Banes on the board. And if he doesn't have King Arthur, he things just got a lot more awkward for him. Because he can't always easily to uh, Black Queen Vania there. And again, the two Banes can sort out most of That one can, but I can kill it. I can kill it easily. Very easily. I'm gonna do it like this. Dark Major. The slightly better Assault Commander, which never really took off with Swordcraft because his effect was too conditional already back then. So boom, there we go. So what's he gonna do? Too bad, we likely got lethal here. Because they've got the two there. Yep. And then we just add in Vania, which is going to be another 5 damage once it rolled, and that's GG. Boom! And this is the power of Aggro Vengeance, just act in general. Down! They go! Kaboom! Struck down by bats and vampires. <laughs> Off we go again. Alright, now this looks like a solid curve. We got one, two, three. Brilliant. Outstanding, even. Our opponent might be trying to figure out what type of blood deck we are. There's Vengeance, there's Jormungand, and there's Aggro, but we haven't seen Vengeance Aggro. <laughs> Go forth, Ulla. Which is a really weird name here in Denmark because that's usually what you call your dog, Butla. Like, you know, sort of like an affectionate name, Bula. So it just sort of is a bit, you know... Ha! Ah, really? <laughs> to me at least, as a native Dane. <laughs> ah! Mysterio deck. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Down to 17. Magic will be able to save us. And then we'll put it in here. <laughs> Gonna try and save up the Black King for, I don't know, the old Black King since he works quite well with those. But so far, no sign of that. No sign of it. Which is a bit unfortunate. Unfortunate, but there you go, nothing to do about that. 
Never got that badly nice. Did not for that. Oh well. Continue striking forwards. Down to nine. Still got a lot of follows and oh snap. Nova flare. One that was actually ready for aggro. Ah, uh, guess we play Vayne yet. Which, if you're not in vengeance, just deals two damage to you and the enemy, so even there it still has some purpose. But uh sounds look a bit rough here. Trying to look a bit rough here. Not quite pulling the cards I need. You just need essentially four damage somehow, and well, would you look at that? I got a lot more than that. But hey. Agro Vengeance for the win again. Brilliant. <laughs> Strange another Swordcraft deck. Going second. Not particularly good. Yeah. Probably should also take Noise Silver Chain Disciple, but. A part of me has this sneaking suspicion I might need him, but this is not a good situation being second against Midrange Sword. Unless they are doing truly awful, this is looking a bit rough. Wow! Guess they are! Did you look at that? Can't say anticipated that one. Well, in this case, we got Snarling Chain to Red Talon Strike, unless something else and better appears. Uh, like this. I want to keep Red Talon Strike to convert with Old Blood King on, say, turn 6. That's pretty handy. Pretty handy. I'll probably just shoot down that fellow. Yup. Huh. Some sort of more aggressive mid range or aggro. Interesting. There's definitely more aggro about thanks to um Well, some attainment and Paul turning up to be really greedy at the moment. Plus the aggro deck sort of happened again, sort of as a natural counter. They are the natural predator of these decks. And so, you know, add some uh, spice to the whole proceedings. Uh, oh. This is starting to look a lot like aggro. Because besides me, in my token index, no one plays Oathless Knight unless they're playing aggro. Uh. Yes. I mean, I could try and play down No Block King just to hope it sticks. The problem is, if he's got Ephemera on his hand, he could easily kill me. In fact, there's a lot of things that kill me, so I'd. I'd rather not, to be honest. I'd rather not. I might come to regret this. Might have been the right choice setting up there for possibly a really big lethal next turn, but then again. He's ahead, so yeah. Yep, this is aggro. In which case, I as aggro vengeance. I have a particularly fun tool in my tool bag. That is... Kind Queen Vania. So kind by, um... 
using her bats as human shields. Such kindness. Such generosity. Oh wait, heals me up. And again, throws down a ward for them to deal with. I don't know, I wasn't quite what I was fully hoped for, but uh Hmm. I guess we'll do it like this. This is definitely getting a bit rough. But he's run out most of his storm. Oh. If only I had another of these. That's definitely not it. Well, he still doesn't have a lot of storm, so... And yes, he has two white generals in his hand. Or white general and the remaining duty, I should be safe. Doesn't look like it. Wow! Yeah. But yeah, aggro's becoming a lot more prevalent now. A lot more prevalent. Because again, Summon Heyman is really greedy. Paul is really greedy. They're both going after mid range swords, so going for aggro to counter those is a pretty good idea, really. I mean, aggro vengeance is just one, which I particularly find interesting. You could also go, as my opponent did, aggro sword. That also works pretty well, as you just saw, particularly if you're playing a deck like mine. There's certainly a lot of things there to uh, consider. So there you go, Aggro Vengeance. My own particular brew of aggro blood, which I personally enjoy. Again, versus greedy decks, it's really good. Like Summon Haven, like Portal. I can just run them down really fast and they're not quite, you know, ready to what's going on there. And even other decks you saw can be caught quite off aware. It packs a lot of punch and a lot of aggression. Now, of course, again, it is vulnerable to other aggro decks. Of course, they appear. You might sort of want to slightly change things up, maybe to a more regular deck, a slightly sort of slower aggro deck than that's less, I shall say, hyper-aggressive, you know, cutting its own throat, essentially, just to throw its own blood at the enemy. That's very much what this deck does. Again, it is hyper-aggressive, and again, can tear apart a lot of other decks if they're not ready for it. Again, in particular, slightly slower decks. So again, it's a real pretty fun deck, pretty interesting deck, and also for the most part pretty cheap. There's a few legendaries, some golds, and yeah, you can probably easily cut out Vania for just us, say, implants, and even Belfogor can get away. I mean, most of the rest is all just the coin, which if you do pop out Belfogor, you probably don't want Silver Chain to something, you want something like Baphomet just to draw a card, or maybe in like, um, that boy who cried wolf, the free one which can't be attacked by one drops could also be useful. I've actually seen some decks use it, so I mean that's an option as well. But overall, like most of the core is quite sensible, and again, as mid range sword, it's slightly reined in. I mean, it's probably a st strong deck and still you know around, but again, because of Summit Haven and Portal aggressively targeting it because they can, that does leave a lot of openings for aggro decks. I mean, again, you can sort of go for something like this. You could also go for aggro sword or. Agro Dragon probably also works too quite well actually, even sort of just fade into the background as of late. So yeah, like if you want a cheap deck and want to sort of have some fun with the meta and again take advantage of again mid range sword being, you know, uh, target number one for a lot of other decks, aggro's your bet. So there you go, hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't you know, subscribe, like, share, comment on it. This is Imperial Dane signing off. We're back another two days' time with another video, another deck. Cheers everybody.